Hey guys, what is up? A Ray Mage here, doing another World of Tanks 360 gameplay commentary. Today, guys, we're going to continue with Skills of Perks, and we're going to continue on with Smooth Ride. Now, this is an interesting skill, and by the way, we're on Westfield Assault. Um, this is a Tier 9 game. Wasn't really an impressive gameplay, really. I don't even think I got a kill in this match. Um, really, for the most part, it was a kind of poking around, scouting. I took a few pop shots at people. One of those typical games, average games, really. But I felt like this um, showed typically what you can expect in, a, in Assault and where uh, Smooth Ride can be useful at times. Now, it only shows a glimpse of what it's capable of. I really couldn't do very well um, really showing you what this skill can do in this match. You probably have to go back uh, to last week's video when I was reviewing repairs and you would have seen at the very end of that gameplay I was running up on this tiger too and I kept hitting him at mid-range but let's go ahead and continue and just get the smooth ride smooth ride is a skill so that means when you select it it is instantly ready to rock and it will continually and gradually become more effective as your crew uh, trains or plays in the game um, very effective, very impressive skill, and what it affects is the ridicule bloom of your tank while it is on the move or while you're trying to shoot on the move. Bear in mind, that is without the gun moving or the turret moving. That is important because that's where a skill like Snapshot comes in. So you will notice on occasion that while I'm moving, when I'm not moving my gun or my turret, you will notice the target reticle will not expand a whole lot. However, you'll see right here, once I start shifting around, once I start to uh, move my turret a little bit from left to right, or my gun up and down, you will then start to see that the reticle blooms out a little bit. Um, very useful skill if you like to poke around, you like to aggressively scout, whether you're on a light tank or a medium tank very useful. Uh, quite often you will see a lot of medium tank and light tank drivers employ a particular skill um, known as uh, a death circle, as I've heard some people call it. It's typically where medium and light tank drivers will take advantage of the fact that assuming they have a powerful enough engine, they will be able to run around to the side or the rear of a tank destroyer or a heavy tank in some cases, because heavy tanks typically do not have the fast-turning uh, turrets, um, or their turrets don't turn as quickly, usually, than their medium or light tank counterparts. In this case, um, you will see it here in action against the Conqueror when he pushes me. Um, you will notice uh, when I do it, of course, it is close range, but I'm showing you more than anything where you can use it. Um, I have... I have I haven't been able to hit people across a map with this skill, um, but at times it can really be effective. I guess the best way to describe Smooth Ride is it's smooth yet crisp. You will sometimes get outstanding results where you can attribute it totally. And by the way, um, I do not have a vertical stabilizer on this tank, so uh, you use vertical stabilizer and Smooth Ride in addition to Smooth Ride, um, you will notice a difference. I tested it out on one tank before, and it was incredible, uh, the difference I've seen. Now, I don't have it here, and pretty much I showed, you know, what you can do a little bit. I'm showing you here why shaking the turret, it appears really just showing you the difference between, you know, where Snapshot would come in and where Smooth Ride is effective. You notice when I move the turret, or when I shift the body of my tank, the reticle does expand, but right here... Why when I'm moving, just moving in a solid direction without moving the gun or turret, target reticle doesn't expand much at all. Now, you would say, well, you know, it's not like I'm going to be able to hit people across a map. You have to think, sometimes you're going to have to make on-the-move shots to make me rush into cover, or you're going to need it to take a position. And sometimes that makes all the difference in the world if you can take an enemy tank out on the move. I've had plenty of moments where... I have to push at an enemy tank, and I know I can pen them, and I don't want to stop and aim and shoot at them, because I know they have friends that can easily hurt me, and I might as well take this person out, or at least soften them up on the move, hurt them, and make things a little bit easier on me and my team. Now, uh, Snapshot, I haven't used it yet, but it's something I'm going to have to consider at some point. Uh, this is very useful. 
uh, right here I'm actually going to demonstrate a little bit of another skill or technique. No, I don't think I use it much at all. really took a lot of risk in this gameplay. You'll notice I push a lot. I actually do push this E75 in the end. It's normally something I wouldn't have done, but I wanted to show you know, smooth ride and action, it's usefulness. Now, of course, a lot of this is close range. I couldn't really get too many medium or long range shots going in uh, on the move in this game type, particularly because it's assault. Everybody loves to sit back. But you do see it in action, so you do see the potential of it. Um, I would definitely strongly recommend this for light tanks and medium tanks, just because of how those tanks typically play, those vehicles definitely are usually on the move. They're almost always poking around, trying to find the weak spots of an enemy flank. Smooth ride is perfect for flanking. However, I would point out, heavy tank drivers, don't roll your eyes. Don't sit there and say, well, this is just a goddamn medium or a light tank skill. What good, what use is this damn thing to me? It does have some use. I didn't demonstrate it a whole lot here in this game. I thought I did, but I didn't. Uh, you will note uh, in peekaboom or pop shotting, for those who don't know what that is in this game, it is where an enemy tank is beside, is on one side of cover and you're on the other. Typically that's something you see heavies, and sometimes you see a lot of mediums will do to each other. One will pop out and shoot, and then the other one will pop out and shoot. And typically a lot of guys will actually, um, and as you can see there, I shot that E75, and I think if I was an M46 Patton with a 105, that would have hurt him. But unfortunately, this 90 has its limitations against an E75. Anyways, um, with a heavy tank, you'll sometimes see, and you see it with medium tanks, some guys will pop out quickly, zero in, and then shoot. Um, with this, with this particular skill, smooth ride, I can quickly jump out, and bef without even stopping, I can quickly pull back on my left thumbstick, fire the gun, and I can get a hit. Now, this only is useful, obviously, if you don't care about where you're hitting, if you don't have to hit a particular weak spot. This is assuming you have a gun that is plenty for the job. And, of course, you have to think at close range. I'm sure if you're hitting the lower plate of a Tiger II or a panther too, you know, some, you know, big weak spot at close range, typical peek boom um, pop shotting dif distances, that is where smooth ride could be useful, just pushing in real quickly, and then you push back real uh, fast, uh, you're not even going to stop to even try to aim in that sniper mode like I was just there, uh, you're just going to quickly hold the, you're going to hold the left trigger and just go forward and back real fast when you fire it, very useful skill. Uh, definitely suggest it for medium and light and heavies, something to consider. It is pretty darn useful. Definitely recommend it. Good skill. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.